Okay, it's beer o'clock again, a real ale guy. Today I got Mark from Somerset Real Ale Reviews Hi, on hi Simon, the channel. How are you doing? Um, now I've been watching your channel for a while, and I, I, I got to be honest, um, you come all this way, and I want to talk about Mark's channel a little bit, and that is that he kind of picks up these beers. I'm always looking at his channel because he finds beers which I've not found that I've not yeah. had, and I, I like Mark's channel for that. So yeah. if you're watching this and you want to know about a few quirky beers. Check yeah. out Mark's channel. So, Somerset Real Ale Reviews on YouTube. That's yeah. him. <laughs> and today though, we've got a bottle of the Durham Breweries Even Song. And it's a traditional ruby ale. Really looking forward to this. I haven't had any beers from the Durham Brewery, but I've heard such wonderful things about them, so... Yeah, yeah, they, um, this is... I have had this. Wow. Oh, I stole... Um, that's quite... Um, Oh yeah, lively, lively. Oh. I think it's uh, it's so up and up and away there, so I mean, it's, yeah. This is their kind of traditional yeah, so I mean, beverage, so I believe. I think I got them. Okay, closer to the sort of like that. This is the one that they put in the pubs as their uh, their session area. Is it so? And they're sort of yeah, I believe so. This standard. Kind of Ooh. get out there, drink four pints of it. Yeah. That's your, yeah. That's um, your life. I think I'd like to do that. Yeah, that's that's the yeah. kind of that's where we all are. Really. We all like yeah, we, we all like a nice. Beer. We like a session. We're, we're we're British and we like a session, yeah, don't we? You know. Right. Look at that. I mean, that's oh, you get some. Yeah. There's a bit. A bit of, I've, even, I've even got a bit of a little bit of hoppage in the top there. I think I believe. Bit of yeast. Bit of yeast or hops. Yeah. Actually, yeah. looks like yeah, fantastic. It's, um, it is bottle conditioned, so it's never going to be the clearest glass of beer ever, is it? But um, I don't mind that. I know you, Simon, you don't mind that either. We, we love I love it. sentiment in our beers, so... It kind of takes it back to where yeah. beer was. Yeah. Beer I... was never clear, was Well, they, they never had sips no. or anything. They didn't no. filter anything. Nothing no. was pasteurised. You... Uh, that never... was how you drank it. I've never been ill. I've never no, been ill no. from drinking yeast. No, no problem at all with it, so, you know. It looks like a good ruby beer. It does. It does, one, it does one yeah. finger. It's, it is very good ruby. Towards the bottom of the glass, you're getting a slight sort of. Um, oh, we're going towards orange. Look at that bit of massive bit of yeast at the bottom. Yeah, of the bottom lovely. There. You can see that yeah. giant lump of yeast on the bottom. Enjoy Fantastic. that. I think I will. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like them for to eat that. <laughs> right. Enough, I think we should. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> this is a classic. Kind that of. is a classic yeah. Rubio. I mean. I wouldn't say the best ruby ale I've ever tasted, but my benchmark for ruby ales is the Hobgoblin by Witchwood Brewery. Yeah. Simply for the reason is most people have had it and yeah. it's very readily readily available. Yeah. Um, but that's that's what I find is my benchmark for a ruby ale. Oh, this lovely. this actually smells a lot better. Mm. It smells richer. Yeah. It smells more welcoming. It smells more luxurious. Um, it's not that I think the Hobgoblin's a bad beer. This isn't. probably tastes, or will taste, as Hobgoblin would have done when the Witchwood Brewery was independent. Yeah, independent. Because it's now past the path of Masters. Masters, yeah. And yeah. No, no disrespect, it's just, we're, we're honest beer reviewers. Well, the go? trouble is, yeah, I mean, when you find when companies get bigger, they do tend to sort of, yeah. La they sort of, it's not so much struggle with the quality, they sort of miss off the edges, yeah. you know, when you, yeah. you know, edges get rounded off, instead of saying, you know, we're doing that, it's, it comes down to a profit and, exactly, you know, exactly. But I get nice fruity hop, yeah. fruity yeah. hop, it's Definitely. a little bit hedgerow, spicy. Hedgerow berries, I'm yeah. getting that. Yeah, hedgerow berries. Oh, I've got to dig in. Oh, I have to. Again. It, it, I have to say this is so welcoming. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wow, yeah. wow, yeah. wow! It's fruity in there. It's, it's just um, it's the kind of beer. Mm. It's an autumn night, which it yes. is. Yes, you're yes. in the pub. Yeah, you, you just took your coat off. You yeah. put it on the back of the chair, and you think, right, I want something a little bit kind of like yeah. warming. And yeah. even though it's a session beer, it's still kind of that. It's that beer that's going to give you a cuddle from the inside out. Mm. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? This is a this is a gorgeous beer. Um, yeah, it's still, I think it's still, um, 
easy enough in the mouth to be sessionable. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you get that warming warmness that Sona mentioned, but it's still you want more. You you don't want to. You don't necessarily want to sit this beer. You want to knock a pint back. You know you've had a hard day's work out yeah. in the cold. Yeah. And you come back and you want to knock a pint of this back and maybe two. You know. Absolutely, it's it's like you say. It's got that hedgerow hop taste. Yeah. Classic. It's traditional. Yeah. Is it? Is there's some roasted malt in it as yeah. well? Absolutely. Yeah. You get the hint the of chocolate, chocolate. The chocolate yeah. malt. Yeah. And the the fruity it's, esters from the yeast, which we picked up today, picked, that yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, you're the yeast the, the flavors yeah. the, they bring out with the yeast. I mean, it's it's ever so slightly spicy as well, um, which is great in it. Yeah. I find in the ruby ale. Now the spice might be coming from. I always pick up the spice from the sa uh, the the. the say, no, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> it'll come back to me. <laughs> There we go, Styrian Goldings. You get Absolutely. that you get that kind of Styrian Golden hedgerow kind of yeah. spiciness. Yeah. And that is wow, lovely. Uh, you also get that from a Brandling Cross as well, don't you? And like, it's the uh, hedgerow. Yeah. Hedgerow sort of uh, berries or nice. fruit type of uh, flavour. But that is that is an absolute fantastic beer. Lovely. Belter. Belter of a beer. It is a belter. <laughs> Uh, I, I really want to try more beers from the Durham Brewery. Five different malts, including crystal amber, make a rich cherry toffee flavour, a mm, grey toffee, yeah. earthy feathers and goldings, hops, there we are, stirring goldings, combining a smooth English character with hints of kiwi fruit and toffee. Kiwi? Yeah, let's go again. Let's go again. We're getting kiwi Was fruit. that aroma or on the taste? That was on the taste. Not getting kiwi at all, that. I always find when a brewery puts taste notes on a bottle, it makes me feel a bit inferior sometimes when I can't get the actual flavour that they're saying. But take it as a guide. I think you, it's, it, a, yeah. it's a guide, and yeah. everyone's palate's different, so yeah, you, you've got to stop worrying about that, or I've got to stop worrying about it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> bottle condition beer, live yeast, and everything else, probably can see yeah. the bottle condition. Um, it's the second fermentation process in the beer, mm. if you're wondering. Um, Check, please check out the oh, Durham yeah. Brewery at www.durhambrewery.co.uk mm. I believe this is probably the last bit I've done from the Durham Brewery now. Um, Mark, a rating please. For the I, I think, song. to be fair, I, I do love a Ruby Ale and this is a fantastic example of a Ruby yeah. Ale. I think I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10 from this uh, from these, this brewery. I think it's a good beer. Um, I definitely want to try more of their range. Mm. I'm very impressed by it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, it's very earthy, it's very hedgerow. Yeah. Um, as well as Mark, I, I personally don't get too much of the, the or any of the kiwi fruit, but as I say, it's there, there's a kind of a guide to kind of put you in that frame mm. of mind. Um, I'm gonna go again, I think we've been we've been really kind of close with our kind of mark into this. Yeah. Now, again, I cannot yeah. fault you for the 8 out of 10. I would give this an 8 out of 10 all day long. So yeah, there we yeah. go. 8 out of 10. Um, I think it's a great beer. That's Durham Brewery's Even Song. Um, Mark's come all the way from Somerset, from Weston, to, to be on the channel today. We've had a great day. We've been to Brains Brewery. We've reviewed loads of beer. Check out Mrs. Real Ale Guide's channel oh, yeah. <laughs> um, for the uh, oyster stuff oyster. from Arbor oh. Ales. Mm. And check out Mark's channel for Courage Russian Imperial oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. can't wait to see that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming all this way to see Many me. thanks for having me, Simon. Many thanks. Yeah. It's been a fantastic day. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, and cheers. Cheers.